welcome back to another Posh Cats Camping collaboration with the Vanners and this month we're looking at the top tips for those that are just starting out and uh, the newbies to caravanning and motorhoming and campervanning of course. The collaborations between a number of YouTubers that are around the country. Please do check out the playlist, there'll be a link in the description below and also an end card right on the final screen of this video that you can click on to take you through to the list of other YouTubers and get some more tips from them. Well our first tip as always is going to be budget. Now if you're investing in a, in a tent, um, a caravan and a car, a motorhome or a camper van or like us a van conversion, they all cost money. The market at the moment with everything that's going on around the world is hugely inflated. We were at the show last week and some of the new caravans and motorhomes have got, well, just frightening price tags and so your budget is really important to keep control of. Now I'm going to assume that you've already got your caravan or motorhome and uh, think about one or two of the things that you need to think about throughout the year just to keep control of your budget. There's little Oscar and Sophie on their beds. Oh she's got stuck down there. Hello! What are you doing down there? Hey? Now I keep a diary of some of those things that I know are going to come round rather too soon like the insurance. Now we've got uh, uh, motorhome insurance for this van conversion and uh, we insure through the Caravan and Motorhome Club and that usually comes to around about £400-£450 pounds a year so it's a big chunk of my budget for the year but I make sure that I know it's coming around in March so I'm ready for it and I can uh, search around for perhaps an alternative if I can't afford the Caravan and Motorhome Club one there may be another one so just do have a good search around for your insurance but even if you own a caravan where it's not absolutely necessary to have insurance I do strongly advise that you take insurance for, against f theft, fire and you know it just helps to have those contents in your caravan insured uh, if it does go amiss. Maintenance and general repairs. Well, I always have a rainy day pot and uh, even if it's carrying a credit card and you, you may need to uh, have those emergency uh, funds available. It could be anything as simple as a flat tire or um, something that breaks along the way. Now notoriously in winter time you're going to need more gas, uh, you're going to need um, perhaps more fuel to, uh, to power the diesel heater for example. And, uh, and very often people in the winter like to have an electric hookup which can cost a little more and some of the sites are metered as well so you need to think about what you're going to spend in the uh, meter as well. Now the key thing with the budget is to understand how much you're going to spend throughout the year. We tend to camp all year round so we tend to divide our camping into months and uh, in, the w in the winter months we just have perhaps one or two outings whereas in the summer we could be out every weekend or perhaps for a longer 10 day or two week trip. So I need to think about how much the camping is going to cost and uh, some other things as well. Now it's really important not to forget the maintenance and servicing of your vehicle whether you have a car or a motorhome, there's always going to be the engine servicing and the MOT that comes around uh, only too soon like I said before. So don't forget to budget for your maintenance of your vehicle. We always recommend um, getting the habitation check. Um, it, it isn't uh, you know, needed for insurance purposes but what it does is to provide you with guaranteed warranty from your supplier if your caravan or motorhome is um, under warranty that will be required, a habitation check is an essential item. And also, when the, the guys, the technicians, look round your caravan or motorhome, they'll be checking for things like the electrics and the gas, two things that I think are pretty important on the 
um, camp field or on the rally field uh, that should be safe and uh, should be checked regularly. So a habitation check once a year should be budgeted for and if you can choose a red pennant engineer and their workshops that are approved and have been checked and are part of the approved workshop scheme. My second tip um, is all about your trip and, and your tours. The thing to think about is how long are you going to be away? Is it just for a couple of nights or is it for a long weekend, maybe 10 days or a fortnight? Or if you're like us and you're greedy, you might want to do a nice long road trip. We've got a nice long road trip planned later in the year, six weeks and we're heading off to Europe and take into consideration the distance that you're going to travel as well. If you've got children or if you've got pets, if you're traveling with other people or meeting other people on the journey, um, do think about the amount of miles that you're traveling. When we used to caravan with our children, we used to uh, stick it to a limit of about 50 miles for a weekend. And we live in East Anglia, so that meant that we could get to Lowestoft or to Norwich. Or in inland we could um, go as far as Cambridge perhaps, just to keep within about an hour or 50 miles of travel. That way we didn't um, overstretch ourselves and we didn't break the budget in terms of fuel costs. Think about the way you're going to tour or the type of holiday you like and then uh, choose and select the campsites that you like. Whether you want hookup, whether you want washrooms, um, whether you want to have a, a bar or a restaurant on site, there are, or adult only perhaps, there are all sorts of campsites available now offering different services as well. Well, my fi final area of advice for beginners is um, about accessories. The things that we really need and the essential things to take with you when you're camping or the things you really want. Um, and that could, well, the, the sky's the limit, isn't it? Don't forget that you've got weight limit, whether you're driving in your car or whether your motorhome has got a payload limit. You can't exceed that. It's, it's wrong to be uh, overweight. So do consider what you're taking. You know, three or four bikes, um, a big barbecue and uh, 60 cans of dog food will probably take you overweight. When we first started up, we found it a lot of fun choosing our accessories for our first caravan. We started off by just taking a few plates and a couple of cups, a saucepan and a frying pan from the house. And uh, we, we ended up spending weeks just choosing our, you know, the scatter cushions and the little accessories that you buy along the way. Don't rush it because you'll probably find there's more enjoyment in getting those bits and pieces for your caravan or motorhome than you really expect. You'll no doubt find things along the way that you'll hoard and uh, think, oh, I'll get that because that's really useful. Use it once and then never use it again. So when thinking about those accessories then, think about the main categories. I've got them written down here in front of me. So you're gonna need water. You're gonna need food and drink, an electric cable. You're gonna need your bedding, your outdoor seating, and perhaps a barbecue if you like to uh, cook outside. And don't forget the satellite navigation and your maps as well. So they're all pretty essential, those things. You're gonna need a kettle, aren't you, for a cup of tea or a coffee in the morning. Also your duvets and your sleeping bags. Now, you may have some sleeping bags. They're great to get you started. Um, and then later on, you can get the duvelet um, toppers and things like that. Well that's about it for this video, I hope that a little bit of advice was uh, helpful for you. There's lots more on the playlist, so don't forget on the tile at the end of this video is the playlist. So go and check out everyone else's uh, uh, tips and advice and that's what I'm going to do now. Until next time, see ya. Take care, bye bye.